Which one of the following rhythms is most commonly present in the first minute following a cardiac arrest in adults? A. Ventricular tachycardia. B. Asystole. C. Bradycardia. D. Ventricular fibrillation. Answer D. Ventricular fibrillation. What is the drug treatment priority list in treating unstable bradycardia? A. Oxygen, then atropine, then a dopamine drip at 5 to 20 micrograms or kg or min, and then epinephrine at 2 to 10 micrograms or min. B. Atropine, then oxygen, then epinephrine, then a dopamine drip. C. Dopamine first, then oxygen, then atropine, then epinephrine. D. Epinephrine first, followed by atropine, then dopamine, and finally oxygen. Answer A. Oxygen, then atropine, then a dopamine drip at 5 to 20 micrograms or kg or min, and then epinephrine at 2 to 10 micrograms or min. Drugs useful in the treatment of cardiogenic pulmonary edema include A. Furosemide B. Verapamil C. Morphine D. Propanolol E. Oxygen Answer A, C, E, furosemide, morphine, oxygen. An 80-year-old patient presents with severe chest pain, a heart rate of 30, and blood pressure of 60 or pmmHg. The monitor shows sinus bradycardia. Which drug is indicated first? A, lidocaine 75 mg for bolus. B. Isoproterenol infusion at 2 to 10 micrograms or min. C. Atropine 0.5 to 1 milligram 4. D. Morphine 2 to 5 milligrams 4. Answer. C. Atropine 0.5 to 1 milligram 4. Intubation with an endotracheal tube. A. Allows adjunctive ventilatory equipment to be used effectively. B. Decreases the risk of aspiration. C. Is the first priority in ventricular fibrillation. D. If performed improperly, may result in only one lung being inflated. Answer A, B, D. During cardiac arrest, acidosis. A. Is usually both metabolic and respiratory. B should be treated with increased ventilation. C. Should generally be treated with sodium bicarbonate. D. Usually resolves once perfusion is restored. Answer A, B, D. Which of the following is true regarding endotracheal suction? A. Limited to 15 seconds. B. Preceded with oxygen ventilation. C can result in hypoxia. D. Perform without applying suction. Answer A, B, C, D. In therapeutic doses, which drug depresses the pumping function of the heart muscle? A. Atropine. B. Epinephrine. C. Propranolol. D. Isoproterenol. Answer C. Propranolol. Calcium chloride should be considered in an overdose of A. Bratilium. B. Epinephrine. C. Verapamil. D. Procainamide. Answer C. Verapamil. A common lethal complication of a lightning strike is A. Stroke. B. Cardiac tamponade. C. Congestive heart failure. D. Respiratory arrest. Answer. D. Respiratory arrest. In rescuing a near-drowning victim, the rescuer should A. Compress the chest to drain water from breathing passages. B. Assure their own safety. C. Stabilize the cervical spine if a diving accident. D. Start rescue breathing. Answer 
B, C, D. The preferred vein for initial cannulation during CPR is the A. External jugular vein B. Femoral vein C. Subclavian vein D. Anticubital vein Answer, D. Anticubital vein AC shock tends to cause A. Asystole B. Respiratory arrest C. Bradycardia D. Ventricular fibrillation Answer, D. Ventricular fibrillation Traumatic injuries may include all of the following except A. Cardiac tamponade B. Hyperkalemia C. Shock D. Tension pneumothorax Answer, B. Hyperkalemia After initiating CPR, which one of the following treatments should be used first for treating ventricular fibrillation? A. Intubation B. Defibrillation C. Epinephrine 4 D. Lidocaine 4 Answer, B. Defibrillation A patient has the following rhythm refractory to adenosine 4 and verapamil 4. Before treatment, the heart rate was 200 beats or min and his blood pressure was 110 or 70 millimeters of mercury. After treatment, the heart rate remains at 200 beats or minute and the blood pressure is 60 millimeters of mercury systolic. What should the immediate treatment be? A. Atropine 0.5 mg 4 B. Dopamine drip 4 C. Synchronized cardioversion at 50 to 100 J D. Verapamil 10 mg for over 1 to 2 minutes Answer, C. The rhythm above shows supraventricular tachycardia. A 40-year-old patient presents pale and diaphoretic. The heart rate is 200 beats per minute and blood pressure is 60 millimeters of mercury palpable. The monitor reveals the following rhythm. Oxygen is administered. What is the recommended immediate treatment? A. Procainamide. B. Propanolol. C. Synchronized cardioversion at 50 to 100 J. D. Verapamil. Answer, C. The above rhythm shows supraventricular tachycardia. A 60-year-old patient complains of chest pain for 60 minutes. The patient is cool and clammy, heart rate is 40 beats or min, and blood pressure is 70 or 50 millimeters of mercury. The monitor shows the following rhythm. What is the recommended immediate treatment? A. Atropine 0.5 to 1 mg for push. B. Dopamine 4 infusion 20 micrograms or kg or min. C. Epinephrine 1 mg for push. D. Transcutaneous pacemaker. Answer A. The rhythm shown above is sinus bradycardia. What are complications of atropine? A. Tachycardia and ischemia. B. Hypotension and arrhythmias. C. Drowsiness and confusion. D. Nausea and vomiting. Answer A. Tachycardia and ischemia. Through what routes may nitroglycerin be administered? A. Sublingual, transdermal, or 4. B. Oral, intramuscular, or inhalation. C. Topical, rectal, or subcutaneous. D. Intranasal, intraosseous, or epicutaneous. Answer A. Sublingual, transdermal, or 4. What is the most common dangerous rhythm following the onset of atraumatic cardiac arrest in adults? A. Ventricular fibrillation. B. Asystole. C. Ventricular tachycardia. D. Atrial fibrillation. Answer A. 
ventricular fibrillation. What is the most important step in the diagnosis of acute myocardial infarction? A. History B. Electrocardiogram C. Blood tests D. Physical examination Answer A. History A patient in the critical care unit complains of chest pressure and experiences a blood pressure drop to 50 or 30 and a heart rate of 30 beats per minute. What medication should be used first? A. Atropine, 0.5 to 1 mg IVP, may be repeated if little or no response. B. Epinephrine. C. Nitroglycerin. D. Lidocaine. Answer A. Atropine, 0.5 to 1 mg IVP, may be repeated if little or no response. In a patient with an acute myocardial infarction, what drug is most commonly used to relieve pain? A. Morphine B. Aspirin C. Acetaminophen D. Ibuprofen Answer A. Morphine After atropine, what is the next treatment for symptomatic bradycardia? A. External pacing, followed by transvenous pacing B beta blockers. C. Calcium channel blockers. D. ACE inhibitors. Answer A. External pacing, followed by transvenous pacing. What is the most common side effect of nitroglycerin? A. Headache. B. Dizziness. C. Fatigue. D. Diarrhea. Answer A. Headache. What is the most serious side effect of nitroglycerin? A. Hypotension. B. Tachycardia. C. Respiratory depression. D. Cardiac arrest. Answer A. Hypotension. What is the effect of low dose, 1 to 2 micrograms or kg or min, of dopamine? A. Renal vasodilatation. B. Increased heart rate. C. Bronchodilation. D. Increased blood pressure. Answer A. Renal vasodilatation. What is the primary adverse side effect of beta blockers, such as propranolol, on the myocardium? A. Depression of myocardial contractility. B. Enhanced myocardial contractility. C. Myocardial hypertrophy. D. Myocardial ischemia. Answer A. Depression of myocardial contractility.